on the track, oh. Watu, mnajua ni aje, mjua kali hapa Ama uneza nita, kama unanijua vizuri sana, you can, you can call me Paul My name is Lily Asigo, I am a mother, I am a wife, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an actress, I'm so many things But most of all, I'm a woman of God Uh, today, uh, today is a special day because Babu, we are building our second home and we are demystifying uh, home ownership. Being dressed by, by my wife, uh, you know, uh, on each and every special occasion, she always makes sure I look sharp. Uh, this, this groundbreaking is, is almost like, like, uh, like a wedding. So you have to show up in style. So deliberately, I'm using a yellow jeep. Yani gari uneza yona ya uko thika ama uko machakos. Yani una yona ndio ile. I already have a problem when it comes to keeping time. So you can imagine, now this is me, one person that I'm supposed to like make sure my kids are in order and I have three children, to make sure they are all dressed up, to make sure at least they've, they've had something to eat. And then I have all these visitors in my house. So all of them are asking me, where can I get a cup? Where can I do this? So it is overwhelming, but I had to make sure everything is in order. I always keep time, definitely. What I need to men, we always keep time. Well, what to do is a new money, my wife, where to, and Lazima every time to to tell her to me, I'm like, can you wait? Don't say, Kusonga. Evans. Welcome to our groundbreaking ceremony with Mizizi Africa Home at Asali Estate. Asali Estate is uh, one of our projects, Mizizi Africa Homes Limited, that is located in uh, Kangundo Road. And this is one of the towns that are growing very fast. It is uh, very near Tarmac and uh, it's a very nice area that we have ventured and we are doing flat roofs as Mrs. Africa Homes Limited and flat roofs are our latest designs when you are constructing houses because 
they are very good when you're utilizing the space that is uh, around your compound. This is a project that is composed of uh, 26 units with uh, 16 bungalows as well as six, uh, 10 mansionettes. <laughs> So I've been looking forward to this day because I don't know what to expect. In fact, I feel like I'm getting married. You know, those two butterflies, your parents are coming, your family members are coming, your friends, neighbors, yani the people who are closest to you are coming. So definitely, I have a lot of mixed reactions, but I'm extremely, extremely happy about today. We are so excited that we are working with Juakali uh, together with uh, his wife, Lily, and uh, they are actually a good example. We normally say that wasani uh, nikiocha jami. Tangu ni kuone tu pale kwa mara ya kwanza nyuzi za mwili wangu zote zilisisimka nami nikajiwa pale nishaupata ubavu wa mwili wangu nikaupa mwili nguvu na nika kwa approach na nakushukuru kwa vile pia huku niangusha tukachumbiana na sasa Yesu ameifikisha siku yetu kuu tuvisha na cake pete na kuka na kukata keki mbele ya umati wow naomba Mungu atuzidishie baraka zake atumiminizie shukurani ni kwake Yesu uh, I chose to work with Mizizi Homes uh, because they were accommodating. I met them at a certain event where I was I was performing. So I just told George, because I just met him, we were taking photos, I just told him, by the way, So naturally he was like, ah, our sani, our, our sani was a magatui, but I was maybe trying on a tenor. stage I always sing. So this time around me giving giving a speech, I couldn't I couldn't tour as such, but not the lazima self formulate lazima lazima ni kama unapanga pointers kwa kwa brain yako. Mine za sema jani jani yangu ya ku ya kwaza ku dream story ya ku kume nyumba ilianza kitambo kiasi na ilianza na 
ilianza na pressure pressure ya mother pressure ya mabro kwa kwa niambia kila saa unafanya nini kilimani eh unatoka kulipa hizo rent eh mother na big sim of time unatoka kwa hiyo nyumba kwa unalipa hiyo rent so your pressure so nikakuwa blessed nikajenga nyumba mimi na my childhood friend anaitwa Clemo tukajenga nyumba kwa sukari please tumekuwa tunaishi huko uh, since 2012 so uh, kuna kuna peace of mind ukijenga nyumba eh yeah, kwanza especially naweza kumbuka hiyo siku za rent ilikuwa tarehe 5 Lando Dutu alikuwa anaitwa Mr. Mr. Meta. Anaitwa Mr. Meta. Tare 5. Eh, damu na kwa wewe. Pesa iko wapi? So every time nakumka hii hey, tare 5 hii hey, lazima nilipereni. So kuna hiyo peace of mind ukiingia kwa nyumba yako inakupatia. Yaani sasa wewe shughuli yako tu unafikiria story ya food. Unafikiria kuna fikiria school fees and hizo ndo pressure tu uko nazo lakini story ya rent yani uko na hakuna mtu atakutoa kwa nyumba yako unaona so pia si si joke sana na brangu mkubwa yuko hapa anaitwa Timo tuko tunasema landlord kuna reason no jamaa aliitwa lord anaweza kutoa yani ule ni lord <laughs> Mtalala yani akisema ampigia kifuli hapa hautaingia kwenye nyumba ndio hivyo utalala nje ndio hivyo yani ule ule jamaa alikamwa kuna hiyo jina landlord alikuwa jamaa mjanja sana kwa ifi wangu tulienda naye kuna kuna hiyo nyumba ya, ya kawasukari ilikuwa bado ilikuwa shelf lakini vile vile aliona ilikuwa tunaingia hapa siku gani na kile ina dirisha When I met my husband, he was already building the house that we live in right now. But he did not tell me up until our son was born. That is when he told me that by the way I'm building a house and it is here. And we went we saw the house and I loved the house. Tunaanza kujenga hii nyumba lakini tutaitumia ku encourage anyone else yule anaona ni kama nyumba eh hey, nyumba ni hii ni kitu ni kitu noma kuna watu wanajua ni kitu impossible sana haiwezi fanyika so itakuwa ni program for the next one year tutakuwa tuna shoot a reality show hata leo ni the first episode ya yeah, hiyo show demystifying home ownership yes Sasa sikia kwa Obama sasa ni kama Rona so tutako na demystify home ownership with mizizi and the juakali so uh the wife yeye job yake kwa hii shughuli yote itakuwa ku encourage wana dada wetu eh well, yani unaweza support husband wako kujenga nyumba we mwenyewe pia unaweza jenga nyumba mwenyewe so hizo hustle za kwenda kutafuta smiti nini yani ile tu ku, kupatia mademu wetu moral hii ni kitu inaweza fanyika so mimi wasanii wana sport itakuwa naongea nao walimu anyone yule anataka kujenga nyumba hii itakuwa ni yani hii show itakuwa ni ya ku encourage kila mtu wala nataka kuongeza nyumba ya pili ya tatu ya nne eh, kama tulibonga mimi nitakuwa modest kidogo hiyo ya saba in two years hiyo ni noma <laughs> lakini yote yawezekana yawezekana kuna couple wamejenga i think ni nyumba ni nyumba 7 ama 10 majina anaitwa Jackson Moses Wanjiku na mimi ni testa mzizi Wili nilianza kimtezo mtezo sasa hii na on Sema sema <laughs> Ok 
Okay, so Savina own five houses in Mizizi. Wow, Makofi, Makofi. Oh, yani highlight yangu pia ni nataka nifikishe hata nyumba nyumba ta, zaidi ya tano ni jenge. Yetu yetu liko ni moja every year. Lakini ya saba ni noma. Ujoji. Tupiga miti nyingine tu ne. Kwa hiyo tupiga nane inua nia. Tupiga hapo 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 hapo. Eh so uh kabla ni malize speech ngependa ngependa kuita kuita wife akuje asalimie alafu wife ataita the dad makofi mazuri makofi mazuri tafadhali at the beginning of this year I promised myself that I'm going to face my fears and that is exactly what I did by joining a TV station. Hello. I hope you normally watch the show and I can say that I've seen myself grow and I am ready for this. Let's do this. Niko hapa ku encourage everyone. Na si lazima uko bibi ya mtu. It's just everyone. Ukiambiwa uta own nyumba just by paying 4. Point. It's supposed to be 4.25 million. You can pay 3.95 million. You only pesa kidogo sana by the way if you think about it. Because there are some areas where you need that amount of money just for land peke yake. And vile tulikuta na na watu wa mizizi, we were like, but there's so many people are suffering, so many people are clueless. Hawajui, ata ndowe uku on land, hawajui what it takes to own land. What it takes to save and do everything. And make it unashukuru wana yangu, ujua kali. Na mitanga babe. Kitu na mshukuru ni that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yani unajua definitely every time, every time wa ifiangu wana mita babe, hati yangu melt. Sawa babe. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly call my husband babe, not always, because sometimes it depends on what he has done. So if he has done something, eh, eh, I go like Baba Evans. Namshukuru na namheshimu. Kwa nini namheshimu? Ni kwa sababu hiyo nyumba yenye tunaishi sasa hivi, mimi nilipata structure. Sikujua ile hardship ali go through who acquire the land who panya at a foundation peke which cost him a million bob just through the foundation only and everything else. Ini ni kitu ni land pole 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 pole. I want to encourage every single one of you. If you have one home, it's not enough. You can have two, three, six, ten, countless. You know, if you do not have, I'm also encouraging you to invest with the Mrs. Because I'm telling you, my dad is seated somewhere there, and I respect him so, so much. He single-handedly built a mansion, Ushaku. We have a mansion, Ushaku. Wow. Na pia, coin after coin after coin. You know? So having such a, a fantastic father, and ending up having an amazing husband, when you watch on a vision, wanaunambali. Mi stakim tu tunona tu hapa karibu, you know? So, I'm, I'm so grateful to God also. I'm a woman of God. Hakuna kitu kama yo, but <laughs> ni miokoka. <laughs> Na yesu ni buwana. And um, allow me to invite my dad, who has been an amazing pillar in my life. Who is a fantastic example when it comes to fathers. Fathering. <laughs> Growing up, our dad has been our pillar, our role model. You know, raising seven children is not an easy task. So he made sure that we ate, we slept, we were clothed nicely, water to my soma. So for him to now come to my groundbreaking ceremony, oh, <sighs> I cannot explain how I felt. Uh, on behalf of myself and the family uh, of 
Professor Henry Tende Mbeyo. That's my name. And I'm a Malimu at Machakos University. So I have brought good wishes from my wife, who is in Western. She's called Jen Tembeyo. She said she wishes the two the best of luck and God's blessing to ensure that they succeed in what they are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would say that that wish from my wife is the same wish from myself. And together, as a family, we are saying, may God bless them, may God give them wisdom to nurse this vision until it takes them for greater height. The groundbreaking event is important uh, first, as, first and foremost for, for us as a, as a family. Uh, for, my, for my wife, uh, for us to share the journey of uh, building a home together from, from the ground up. What we are doing now is very different. I have always wanted to be part of the journey because when I came into his life, he had already started building, you know. We thank you for this first step in the name of Jesus. Yes, you we thank you that the corner is already set yes. in your name. Yes. And as this house continues to be built all the way to its completion, yes. we dedicate the every process to you. Yes. We thank you for every rock that will be used. Yes. We thank you for every nail, every wood, yes. every door, every metal, yes. every concrete, and yes. every cement that will be used in this house. Yes. We bless it in the name of Jesus. Yes. And again, we want to thank you for its availability mm -hmm. we thank you for resources coming in mm -hmm. from the right from the left and from the center yes. in the name of Jesus yes. and we thank you as we bless this house mm -hmm. we declare that it shall it has begun mm -hmm. and it shall move on to completion mm -hmm. with your success mm -hmm. in the name of God On top of the sale agreement, we gave him a certificate to show him that to show that uh, that is his house. I just ask you, Lilia, to show me a little bit of what you can do. Thank you, Charlie. You are so appreciative. Mizizi Award, as you can see, Papa. We have the Mizizi Africa Homes Limited. Congratulations, certificate, proudly presented to Jua Kali for owning a bungalow at Asali Estate. Wow. That certificate uh, is a symbol that uh, he has a home or he has a bungalow at Asali and that is uh, the, the bungalow and uh, by the time we are done with the construction now the, the certificate that he gave us Mizizi we shall be handing him uh, a title. Hey, 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 Today has been an amazing, amazing day. I came to learn that Luya's, I don't know about you, but lawyers, being a woman in a lawyer community, I am not supposed to like 
put the cement and everything else for foundation. And how come I'm just finding out, you know? I'm how many years old? Dad, that is not fair. If people say, Jua, 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 Muna Malisa, Kali. Na Muna Chapa Mkono, Jua. Jua, 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 Kali. Jua, 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 Kali. Kali, 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 Jua. <laughs> there is a lot to expect from this show we are going to show you behind the scenes we are going to show you that um when it comes to decision making what happens you know because many people don't know you just see like a house that is complete but you don't know what goes into that project so we are willing to share every single step with you guys who are watching us from um, now you've, you've watched our groundbreaking ceremony. Next, you're going to see the next thing. So we'll break it down into 12 months. Big up sana everyone. Uh, wase wote tunakaribisha. Tunakaribisha everyone yule anyone anataka, anataka kushowcase. Kama we ni mtu wako mabalb. Leta bulb zako. Sisi tuta, tuta, piga, tuta piga advertisement vile tunaweza on the show. Kama we ni mtu wa chuma, kwe ni mtu wa vio, kama we ni mtu wa kabro, kama we ni mtu wa tiles, umekaribisho ya sana. Join us kwa hii jani, tuwoku pamoja, ini kitu ita, ita help, ita saidia watu wengi sana. It's almost like a CSR, so ita, ita saidia watu wengi sana. So, Karibuni sana kwa jani yetu au sio demystifying home ownership disease and the dual colors no mai